Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be reacting to my very first YouTube video and it's called Driving Across the USA, No Highways. So I don't know how this thought got into my head, but I had this thought of doing this without the interstate because I thought it would be more interesting to see kind of what I would run into during this trip. And I want to challenge you guys to get on Google Maps wherever you live. Get on Google Maps, check out something that's really close to you or maybe even far from you and just go out there. I feel like a lot of the time I'm so guilty of this. I get stuck in my head. I get stuck at home wherever I'm staying. I get stuck in my head and I don't want to go out and explore. I don't know. I forget that there's an entire world out there to be discovered. So if you're feeling like you're in a slump, I think it'd be really helpful to go out there, explore, get some sunshine. So let's react to this video and let's see what it is because I haven't watched this in probably over a year. <laughs> which is crazy because so much has happened since then and I'm so thankful to have been taking you guys to have the opportunity to take you guys through this journey so let's get this video started <laughs> all right so just off the bat I'm over 200 pounds here I I gained a lot of weight <laughs> during this year but yeah here taking off avoiding the highways on the google maps and you can see it's 32 hours. <laughs> so I knew this was going to take at least, you know, at least five days, at least five days. Plus filming, it really adds to the amount of time that it takes to do something like this, get this project going. But man, it's crazy. This first stop is Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Yeah, we started in North Dakota. This is where I grew up. I moved to North Dakota when I was six. So, and you know, I, I have a lot of friends that used to go to Devil's Lake or still go to Devil's Lake. I've never been to Devil's Lake. <laughs> I'm talking about how peaceful and serene this place is. And honestly, before this video was shot, I was, I was in a dark cave, it felt like for, for a year. So just seeing the water um, in North Dakota, because, you know, seven months out of the year, it's, it's snowing. So it's, it's really eye-opening and really calming to be able to see something like this. And I, I encourage you guys to, you know, you don't need anything fancy you just need a car you just need to have an open mind and be able to open yourself up to new experiences right here we find ourselves in the geographical center of north america uh, which i thought was really interesting it's called rugby north dakota and yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about. I did not expect to see this place. I didn't expect to be able to witness or be a part of <laughs> be a part of this video, creating this video. I here I pick up a hitchhiker. Uh, it was this girl that I saw just standing in the middle of the road, and she was sunburned. She was. I don't know. I, I felt bad for her. So we picked her up and we helped her out. We drove her to the airport, which was like a 45 minute drive from rugby where I found her. And she's from San Jose, California. It was a really cool experience to be able to help her out because I don't know. Just, <laughs> I've never picked up a hitchhiker. I've never personally been a hitchhiker, but I can't imagine how how scared or uncertain she must have felt so yeah we exchanged numbers maybe we'll see each other in the future if when i go back to california because that's that's where i was driving in this video i was driving to california so she flew from the minot airport to california and i'm just driving across the country to there so it's pretty insane Here I am during this entire trip, 
I was driving, obviously I had to make up, you know, a lot of miles. So whenever I saw something interesting, I would just stop. And I think that was really calming for me to be able to experience because it was just, it just felt like the ultimate freedom, you know, these open spaces, not many buildings, you know, not many people, but these hay bales, these railroad tracks and this sunset i remember filming this sunset on my drone and just feeling at peace you know feeling at peace here's our first night in the car <laughs> i remember taking out my laptop and offloading the footage onto my laptop before i before i went to bed but here i'm explaining how absolutely blind i am <laughs> I'm so blind, you guys. Like I can't see anything. So uh, I had to. I had a hand soap in the in the door compartment of the car, and I would I would wash my hands really really carefully, and then I would just you know <laughs> be really careful because I didn't want an eye infection during this entire thing. I knew that it was going to be a problem, but I just rolled with it. I had bottled water, so I'd wash my hands with the bottled water and use hand soap. So it's fun. It was really fun. This is one of my favorite shots here of the of the tractor of the ag agriculture. It's so unique, you know. These windmills were insane. Like I love flying my drone over insane places, and I feel like this is one. This was one of those places where it was really calming, really eye opening, and it really changed my perspective on how beautiful the Earth is. And you can just notice like here, there's pine trees. So we went to a lake, we went to uh, farmland, we went through the agriculture of those, of the windmills and it just changed into these pine trees, which was very, very shocking to me. And the good part was that this was I think this was in August, so there wasn't any snow. And that was a good thing because I didn't want to have that slow me down. Obviously, I wanted to take my time, but this was a 32 hour drive, like without sleep, without stops, without peeing, without eating. So I wanted to make it timely, but I also wanted to take my time in a way. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're filling up gas here. You know, I miss this car. I left this car in the US and uh i miss my car <laughs> uh right now i think my dad is using it so it's 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 in it's in good hands i don't know why i'm like this i had a mountain dew and an apple i was i am not healthy sometimes <laughs> oh my gosh you know something i was really worried about and I always worry about this is uh, having you watch a video and you be bored of what you're seeing on the actual travel video and so I always want I always had the map open on my phone next to my dash to see if I was driving next to somewhere cool and here uh, this was like a boat drop so you can if you have a boat you can take your boat out and go on this river and I saw that as an opportunity to you know, you know, just check it out, see what's up. And this entire time up to now, I hadn't taken a shower. So the water was really clear. I think this is still Montana. Yeah, this is still Montana. And dang, like this, uh, this experience was so cool. Like, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting distracted by my, how thick I was. <laughs> But yeah, uh, having this shower was so awesome. Flying my drone, driving my car, sh and knowing that I was going to share this experience with you guys, with anyone who would come across the channel. And this is why I love this channel so much is because I want to, you know, I want to inspire that sense of uh, wonder, the sense of adventure, the sense of being a child again, uh, in a way, when, uh, even if you 
even if you lose some of that sense as an adult, I, I hope you inspire yourself to be, to entertain your inner child and become adventurous and see new places again, because I know, I feel like we get stuck in this cycle of, you know, seeing the same places, the same faces, the same, the same environment all the time. And being able to opening yourself up, I should say, opening yourself up to new experiences and realizing, you know, there's so much to experience. There's so much to see. There's so much to learn. Uh, and just now, like making this reaction video, setting all this up, I was scared. And this experience made me really scared. And I think that anyone who would do this would be kind of scared to experience something like this because it's the unknown. Like, I didn't know if I was going to get into an accident. I didn't know who I would run into. I didn't know where I would sleep every night. Like I slept in this park this night, <laughs> but I made it a point. Like I didn't want to stay in any hotels. Like I wanted to literally just feel like on the edge. <laughs> I wanted to feel on the edge of, you know, I wanted to feel something. I don't know how to explain. I wanted to feel danger, <laughs> even though like, obviously I wasn't in a lot of danger during this road trip, but yeah, I wanted to feel something, something new. And I wanted to share, like, that's the biggest thing. I wanted to share this experience with you guys. And there were so many surprises, you know, there were so many surprises on this trip. Ugh. Finding this watermelon was insane. <laughs> Finding this watermelon was insane. I was, I had deprived myself. So like, okay, the food situation, right? What was the food situation during this trip? I had Fairlife. It's these like protein shakes, like these 30 gram protein shakes you had. I had maybe 30 of them in the back seat, and I would drink maybe three or four of those just to make sure that I hit my protein. It's not the best way to get your protein, but yeah, I would do that. And then whatever else I would find, I would say, okay, I'm drinking these three or four protein shakes. That's 90 to 120 grams of protein. Um, I'm trying to hit at least 180 to 200 because that's how much I weigh in pounds. So I would just find little snacks along the way. I didn't really have a plan. <laughs> and that was the fun part of no highways was running into these places and now we're seeing Oregon here. Oregon was spectacular. My gosh, it was absolutely beautiful. But there was another portion of this trip that was kind of challenging was sitting in the car for that long. Dude, like <laughs> sitting in the car for that long is makes your body very tight, like makes your body very tight. So working out uh, even at night, was really amazing to get the blood flowing and you know get the get the body loose right now i'm like kind of tight because i've been sitting for a while but getting the body loose and i encourage you guys to also work out as much as possible it's one of the best habits that you can have take care to take care of yourself feel good mentally feel and look good physically like this habit has really changed my life and i i hope to share more of my fitness journey with you guys if you didn't know i had a youtube channel in the past and it was all fitness content but i didn't fall in love with it like i did with this travel channel like this travel channel the people i've met the places i've been to and all the while working out five or six days a week i try you know i try to stay fit and everything and I love this channel and I love the audience that I'm building and I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. Uh, you know, one of my dreams is to implement fitness into this channel somehow and that'll come one day, hopefully, or maybe it'll become a different project, but it's something that I, I really want to do. Dude, 
Look how thick I am. <laughs> uh, this is insane. You know, it's really different seeing yourself. And this is why I like making YouTube videos because you can kind of open and close different chapters of your life and, you know, open them up and look at them next, like a year after, react to them, watch them with your family, see how things have changed. And it's really cool. It's really cool. I love making YouTube videos. Absolutely love it. And I think I want to maintain, maintain the heart in these videos because honestly, like especially during this stop, I was feeling really emotional. I was feeling really emotional about, you know, things that have come and gone, people that have came and went. And shifting the focus to what's beautiful in the world again, you know? What what really matters in life? And what what really matters, you know? Like I used to think that I used to I used to think that having a big TV mattered, having a cool car, you know, having a beautiful girlfriend. I thought those things were like who I was. And they're not, you know, they're not who I am. I have I learned that um, who I am is what I choose to do every single day. And I've been slowly learning about life through these videos and dang like Oregon Oregon really opened up my heart to heal heal from past traumas heal from anger heal, heal from resentment heal from regret <laughs> and I don't talk about any of this in the original video because I wanted to I wanted to just put love into it, you know, I, I just wanted to have it become an experience. I wanted to keep the raw emotion in it. And yeah. <laughs> One of the things I do love is UFC. I mean, look at me. I'm going insane and I'm going insane here. <laughs> cut my thumb <laughs> you know this was in a gas station parking lot in Oregon and I had the blackout curtains or whatever and I was just like zoned into this UFC fight and uh yeah it was just a it was just a quick break from from all the driving all the flying <laughs> I was a bit sleep deprived because I don't think I only slept like five hours five six hours a night during this section because it's hard to sleep when you're when the sun comes up and you're and it wakes you up like it's time to go it's time to drive it's time to fly it's time to film this was my camping spot for the second night i believe and you can see here i drove it up a little bit but like at the end of that road that i just showed that's where I slept for the night and it was really, really cool. Like I cracked the windows and listened to the insects and the birds and it's so peaceful. Like it's so much more peaceful than checking into a hotel. Just got to make sure you, you brush your teeth. <laughs> you really got to make sure you brush your teeth. Oh man, this was so fun. This was so, so fun, you guys. Here we enter California. Oh, we, we've already been in California, but this is San Francisco. I think, yeah, this is driving through San Francisco. You know, um, I spent a lot of time in San Francisco the past few years before making this video. And yeah, a lot of memories, a lot of my heart uh, is in this city. And I just wanted to drive through it again. I wanted to get in here one more time because I wanted to let it go. You know, it was time to move on. It was time to move on. It was time to move on from 
San Francisco. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's a story for another day. But yeah, I let, um, I want to ask you guys, where do you live? Where do you live? Do you live in California? Have you seen these places if you're from California, from Oregon, from Montana, from North Dakota? Have you seen these places? Where would you go? You know, where would you go if, if you were in my position and wanted to make this video or make an epic road trip, an epic solo road trip? Would you be brave enough to go on an epic solo road trip? Or would you bring a couple friends along? You know, we finally made it to the ocean here. We hit the ocean in Oregon, but the California ocean is insane. Like, when when I was growing up in North Dakota, California was like a mythical place. Like, it was a place where, I don't know, it was a place that just felt happier than where I was. <laughs> and I feel like... I feel like having the freedom to be able to go on this road trip and share it with you guys was amazing. You know, I, I really enjoy these small moments that I have, these small moments of rest, because I know, I remember driving through, I remember driving through this road trip and seeing that, oh, 15 hours, seven hours, 23 hours on the clock, and I have to film and all this stuff. And I, I, I didn't know how to balance it all. But that's the thing, like you never have to know how to do anything creative. You just have to try and you just have to, you just have to be open to making mistakes. And I think that's one thing that I'm trying to work on is being open to making mistakes. Because I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> made a lot of mistakes on this channel already, like in the editing process and the filmmaking process. There were a lot of things that I wanted to do better, but the video had to the video had to conclude. <laughs> this video had to be made. So, yeah, this is one of the biggest highlights that I wanted to get to on this road trip. And it's getting to Pismo Beach. And you can see here, like, you can ride your horse on the beach, which is ridiculous. Like, and I love it. <laughs> I hope I can come back one day with my horse. <laughs> but yeah driving on the beach is just so cool and i haven't been able to off-road on in this car at this time and i loved using the four the four-wheel drive on the sand seeing all the people i loved this moment you know i loved and i knew that someone else would love it too and i knew that someone else would not would not have seen something like this if i hadn't shared it you know This really takes me back. This is like, <laughs> this is my attempt at an epic edit. <laughs> my first attempt at an epic edit. I loved it. I love, found this jet ski and I'm following it. It was really, really cool to see all this stuff. <laughs> It was so freeing. I think that, I don't know. I think that water does something to the human body. You know, if you're open to it. Being able to swim, the sensation that you feel, especially in the ocean and with the sun and everything, it just makes you happy. Like there's a, there's a feeling that you get when you, after you swim. You know, after you do anything enjoyable, you know, you have that, man, you have that sense of, that peace of mind, <laughs> that peace of mind, you know, you know, there's a feeling that, oh my gosh, like everything is going to be okay. Like life is good. 
Life is good. I know a lot of people, myself, I think I'm just talking about myself here. I feel like this video and sharing it really healed me from a lot of my past and helped me to move forward. And that's why it was such a great launching point for the channel. And there are people that I met on this on this road trip. This is actually where the profile picture was birthed. My profile picture for my YouTube channel, I stood on top of my car and then I took a picture with my drone on top of the car, just going like this. <laughs> And that was the, that was the birthplace of the, of the profile picture of the YouTube channel. Watching this again has been, oh man, this is like a different life. I'm like traveling to a different life. I hope you guys don't mind this long form, this long form reaction video content. I just wanted to chill with you guys. You know, I just wanted to chill with you guys and, you know, help you guys get to know me a little bit more. I feel like I don't share that type of information on videos. Like I do want, I do want to share more about myself. I just, I want to focus on the quality of the videos a lot of the times and doing that kind of like puts, you know, normal vlog style footage or information onto the back burner. Maybe I should implement more of that in the future. And I think I will. I miss my car a lot. <laughs> if you have a car at home and you can go to, you know, Target or Walmart right now, like, I envy you. Man, this, this shot right here, I love that shot. <clears throat> I love this feeling of this entire video, like, I love the feeling. And it's this, this type of feeling of peace, adventure, exploration, newness, novelty, uh, peace of mind. That's what I want to bring with you guys when you watch one of my videos. That's what I want to bring. That's the type of experience I want you guys to have after watching one of my videos. You know, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Don't worry. Explore. Be happy. <laughs> this is where I this is where I admit that I cheated a little bit. <laughs> my my aunt and uncle, they cooked steak for me and I was I explain it here, but I was like several hours away. And if you use the interstate, it was only around two hours, I think. So I decided to use the interstate on the last tiny bit of the last tiny bit of the of the trip. And honestly, I was missing people like I was missing a familiar face. I was missing a proper bed. I was missing a sink to wash my hands in. <laughs> You know, I was missing civilization a little bit. I wanted to get out of the car. <laughs> so yeah, we've made it to California. We've made it to my aunt and uncle's house. And man, it was so nice. It was so nice to see my Tita Butching, my uncle Butching, and my Tita Bay, my aunt, aunt Bay. <laughs> This was the, this was the steak. <laughs> I love it. I miss steak. I miss USDA Prime <laughs> from Costco. Uh, anyway, I think this is the end of the video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed just chilling with me, hanging out, getting to know some of the context of the first video on the channel more. I definitely eat less cake now. Like I try to eat less cake. <laughs> this was a kid that I met on Pismo Beach and 
He's like, how many subscribers you, do you have? Or like, is this on YouTube or something? And then I was like, oh, this is my first video. It's like, you can't watch any of my videos because I'm currently filming. <laughs> I'm currently filming my, my first video. So I forgot about that moment. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Tell me if you guys would be open to doing something like this going across your country, going across your state, your province. I'm saying something new. If you're stuck in a dark place, get out there and see the world. At least go outside, you know? That's all I have to say. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in the next video.